Hi, my name is Eric Newfeld, and the fine gentleman at Daniki Outdoors have asked me to come down today and talk about tube flies. I figured a really good place to start if we're going to discuss, discuss tube flies is what is a tube fly? Well, a tube fly, simply put, is a fly that's tied on a tube, plastic tube, um, versus a fly that's tied on a traditional hook and on a hook shank. And a lot of people say, well, why would I want to fish a tube? Well, what's special about fishing a tube fly? And tube flies have a lot of great attributes that make angling with them easy. First of all, um, this happens to be a marabou tube fly, a very simple idols marabou tube fly. The great thing about fishing this fly is that it's marabou, it's a fairly large profile, but it's really easy to cast. Um, it doesn't have a heavy hook shank, so if you're a beginning angler or you know intermediate angler and you're and you're getting the principles of spay casting or single hand casting having a fly that leaves the water um, easily um, helps in your overall enjoyment of casting and fishing and allows you to focus on your fishing versus on your casting um, so the fact that it's made out of a tube makes the fly a little bit lighter the other nice thing about tube flies is you can vary the hook that you're going to use so Take this fly right here, for example. This is an Idol's bunny tube. Um, it's a fairly large fly. It's a great summer run fly. And say I was going to use this, this fly for steelhead fishing on the Deschutes in the summer on the sink tip on a bright day. I could fish a size 2 hook um, and not have any problems. Say I was going to take this fly to Alaska and I was going to fish silver salmon with it. Maybe I want to upsize the hook to a size, two, you know, to a size one aught maybe a one, depending on the, you know, the salmon that I'm trying to chase. But the point being here is that I can vary the hook. Um, the other nice thing about tube flies is if you buy a, a fly that's on a fixed hook, maybe you have a, a rogue cask on, on bad and you, you, know, you hit your back cast and you break the hook point off of the fly. With a tube fly, your fly isn't ruined. You can just simply add another hook and go back to fishing. So in terms of versatility, you can adjust the hooks that you use depending on the fish that you're chasing. They're lightweight, you can cast them easily. And you can, in terms of versatility as well, you can, you can create larger flies or smaller flies. So say I wanted to take this fly right here, this large marabou tube. I wanted, I'm gonna be steelhead fishing on the coast, the water's high. Maybe I'll put two tubes together and make one larger fly. So I can add or you know, subtract depending on water. Thanks for tuning in. Eric Neufeld signing off.